if you're trying to have you just bend this knee a little bit. Good, and straighten it back out. So just creating some openness and space through the front of her hip joint. And yeah, go ahead and lift again. And straighten it back down. Good. And let it relax. And again, lift this knee. Good. And this time as you straighten it out, really send it long as if somebody's gently pulling your ankle. Perfect. And let it relax. And just one more time, knee up. And back down. Perfect. Great. And let it rest. So let's have you bend both knees, bringing your feet to the table. Good. Now we're going to come to just the inside of your hip bone here. So there's that. Working with one of these two main hip flexors here. Just let me know at any time if you want me to back off a little bit. Just take a few nice deep breaths in and out here. This allows me just to sink into her tissue a little bit. Always working with it, not on my agenda, but her body's. It's a little bit more restricted, it feels like. All right, so here let me have you slowly straighten out this leg. Good. And bring your toes to your nose at the end. There you go. Yeah, feel that extra little stretch. Okay. And slowly bring it back. Good. Feeling okay with that? Okay. And I just sunk in a little bit deeper. Yep. And how about one more time straightening out that leg? Good. Yeah, nicely done. And bring it back. Let me in even a little bit more. You feel that difference? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good. So we're going to come out of that and work with its neighbor, the psoas, which is usually the culprit for most people's problems. And with your permission, I'm just going to tuck this down a little bit. Show your belly button. All right, so in order for me to make sure I'm where I want to be, I'm going to have you just lift your foot off the table just a little bit. Good, set it back down. And one more time, just lift that foot. Perfect, and back down. And this time, go ahead and slowly straighten out that leg. Press through your heel, bring your toes to your nose. Nice. Feel a good stretch? Yeah. All right, come on back. And one more time, go ahead and extend it back out. Good. Yeah, great. And bring it back. All right. So I'm going to let you take that for a little walk around and just see how that feels, see what you notice. A lot longer, mm -hmm. everything feels a lot more open in the pelvis. Nice. It feels like night and day. Awesome. So if you have chronic low back pain, you'd like help with, and you see some value to what we're showing you here today, then give me a call and let's see if we can help you find some more ease and balance and just a lot less pain in your own body. I look forward to working with you soon.